to Swain Street uh, Strategies partner, Aaron Weiss, and economist Brian uh, Westbury and Vincent Reinhardt. You know, Aaron, one thing that is very, very clear is the markets are not going to worry about trade. They're going to focus on, on the underlying economy, which they do seem to like. What do you think? Yeah, but you know, what you keep saying is for the time being, and what economists keep saying is that this could actually expedite a recession. And maybe we're not seeing it right now, but in the coming year or two, things could look a lot worse. But the one thing I want to say about uh, the the trade and the tariffs and the retaliation, especially right now, is that the, the Trump administration has not explained how raising these tariffs would actually impact national security. And you even heard Justin Trudeau saying yesterday, I don't understand how Canada is in any way a national security threat to the United States. It just... It, it begs the question, why is the president doing this to some of our staunchest allies who are then ready to retaliate? You know, Brian, his argument seems to be that yep. it won't come to it. In other words, uh, the threat of tariffs, even enacted today, won't be realized uh, because they're going to come back to us with something that will pass as a concession. What do you think? Yeah, I, I actually think that will happen. I'm not trying to say we're the best negotiators in the world or or that the White House is, but, but what I will say is for 75 years, tariffs have been coming down. After peaking in the 1930s, every institution, every government, every company in the world, um, in a sense, is, is in this trajectory. The momentum is, is, is amazing. Um, and don't forget, Reagan put tariffs on semiconductors, Absolutely. Bush put tariffs on steel. Um, every four or five years, By the way, years, both of those presidents on... later regretted that those respective moves. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, that's right. my point. Um, every four or five years, we put tariffs on Canadian lumber, and yet, even though we have these little tiffs, these little skirmishes, the net effect is that tariffs keep going lower. And when you look around the world, the U.S. does have the lowest tariffs on trade on average of all these other countries. The EU is over 5%. We're about 3.5% on average they need to bring those down and so these skirmishes if you look back over the last 75 years every time we've had one they've resulted in the world with lower tariffs and i think this is going to be the same thing you might be right and vincent one thing that is, uh, you could say about this is whether you're for or against the president's approach on this and a lot of republicans are against it a lot of economists and smart folks like yourselves have concerns about this, but it has opened the world's eyes to the uh, possibility that, right. yeah, a lot of countries do, uh, you know, rig the trade situation in their favor, most notably China, not affected by this, this particular wave of actions, but a clear opening salvo to the Chinese. But I'm wondering right. why the markets are, are ignoring this. Now, I, I think Aaron touched on in the beginning for now, as I was stressing for now, on focusing on the good economy now and the good jobs numbers now and the strength right. in retail and et cetera. But this is going to weigh on all of that because it's going to mean the price of a lot of goods goes up. I mean, a lot of them we're talking about Mexico responding with uh, with tariffs, uh, high tariffs on everything from steel and pipe products to lamps and berries and grapes and apples right. and pork chops and cheese. I could go right. on and on, but this could spread far and fast. It, it, it could. Like, but, but, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to Vincent, and I do want to get your uh, everyone's yeah, take on this. Go ahead, sorry. Vincent. No, that's all right. Yeah. Sh Certainly a medium-term risk to the outlook, uh, can't deny it. Uh, in the short run, you also have to worry about the uncertainty associated with just how this will all shake out can't be good for investment. Uh, I think the reason markets are mostly shaking it off is there's other sources of strength producing momentum in the United States, i.e., uh, strong consumption growth, uh, the the uh, fuel associated with the tax cuts, uh, regulatory reform, uh, the tariffs are going to pose a near, t a medium term headwind on economic activity. They are going to be a tailwind to inflation. Uh, they're a risk, but for now, people are focusing on the data. In some sense, the big surprise of, for everyone is is a, a candidate actually delivered the policies they said they said during the campaign. Candidate Trump talked about using tariffs as a wedge in negotiations to cut better deals. The surprising thing so far is we haven't really done a lot of deal making. Uh, and I think that is related to the uncertainties of who's in charge in terms of setting the trade position in the U.S.